Hey, how's it going on guys? So in this video, we'll discuss about this problem, queue reconstruction by height. Suppose you have a random list of people standing in a queue. Each person is described by a pair of integers, h, k, where h is the height of the person and k is the number of people in front of the person who have a height greater than or equal to h. Write an algorithm to reconstruct the queue. Note, the number of people is less than 1100. So let us see one example first. So for this input array, the output array is something like this. Now for each entity over here, the first value represents the height of this person and the second entity represents the number of people in front of this person which are having height greater than or equals to 7. So the output is something like this. So let me explain you this output. So the first person is 5 comma 0. So this means that this person is having a height of 5 and the number of persons in front of him having height greater than or equals to 5 are 0. So actually this is the front of the queue. So actually you can see there is nothing, no one in front of him which is having a height greater than or equals to 5. So yes, it is satisfied. Next for 7 comma 0, the height of this person is 7 and the number of people having height greater than or equals to 7 in front of him are 0. So as you can see, this is the front of Q and uh, actually there is no person who is having a height greater than or equals to 7 in front of him. Next for 5 comma 2, the height of this person is 5 and the number of people or the number of person in front of him having a height greater than or equals to 5 are 2. So as you can see, since this is the front of the Q, these are the two people which are having height 5 and 7 which are greater than or equals to 5. So this is satisfied and so on. So now let us see how we can solve this problem. So I have done the algorithm over here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mean tell you the algorithm and I'm going to debug this algorithm over this example given to us. And then I'll try to explain to you why is this algorithm working over this example. So what we're going to do is first, we're going to sort all the people in decreasing order of their height. For those who have the same height, we are going to sort them in the ascending order of their k values. After this is done, what we are going to do is, we are going to simply iterate over the sorted array and insert them in the output array at the kth index. So let us debug this algorithm over this example given to us. So this is the example given to us. Now after you have sorted this array, you will be left with something like this. That is, this array is sorted on the base of height in the decreasing order and in case the height is same so you can see for this element and this element the height is same so they are sorted on the basis of their k values in the ascending order so this is first zero is first and then one now what we are going to do is once we have this sorted array we are going to iterate over this sorted array and we are going to insert people in the output array at the indices equal to their k values so what so let's see so first we are at seven comma zero so we are going to insert seven comma zero at index zero so we have something like this Next we have 7 comma 1. So we are going to insert 7 comma 1 at index 1. So we have something like this. Next we have 6 comma 1. So we are going to insert 6 comma 1 at index 1. So we have something like this. Now you might be thinking that why is this working? So let me tell you one thing. When we are inserting 6 comma 1. So let us consider this thing. So when we are inserting 6 comma 1, I know one thing. Whoever is inserted previous to 6 comma 1 must be having height greater than equals to 6. That is sure because the array is sorted on the basis of height. So all the persons who are inserted before 6 comma 1 must have height greater than equals to 6. Now when I'm inserting 6 comma 1 at index 1, you can see that if this is a front of the queue, then exactly one person will be in front of him. And I know all the persons which are previously inserted are having height greater than equals to 6. So for this, the k value satisfied? Yes or no? What I'm saying is, when we are inserting 6 comma 1, all the persons inserted before him must have height greater than equals to 6. So when we are inserting it at the position 1, we have exactly one person in front of him, which is this. And this must have height greater than equals to 6 because all the persons previously must have height greater than equals to 6. Correct. So we can say that this is inserted at the correct position. Now you might think that will it affect the other positions means we have inserted 7 comma 0 and 7 comma 1 before 6 comma 1. So will it affect its position? Actually, it cannot. Why is that? Because this person's height is actually less than equals to the already inserted persons. Correct. So it cannot affect the position of 7 comma 0 or 7 comma 1. What I mean by position is it cannot affect the k values for 7 comma 0 and 7 comma 1. Correct. So let us see if you're not able to understand. Let me take one more example. So we are inserting 5 comma 0 at index 0. So we have something like this. Next, we are inserting 5 comma 2 at index 2. So we have something like this. So we have inserted at index 2. Now I know that all the persons who are inserted before 5 comma 2 must have height greater than equals to 5. So when I'm inserting at index 2 over here, 
only two persons are going to exist in front of him and they must have height greater than equals to five why because the array is sorted on the base of height so this position is satisfied or the k value for this pair is satisfied now you might think that it might affect the k values for this or and this actually it cannot reason being all the persons who are inserted before him must have height greater than equals to him so it cannot affect correct now you might think that it might affect for 5 comma 0 actually it cannot why because in case the height is same we are sorting the array on the basis of k values so it must come after 5 comma 0 so it cannot affect this as well so this is how this algorithm is working now let me write the code for this algorithm and then things will be more clear okay so first we are going to sort this array so let me just use arrays dot sort here we will provide people and here i will provide a lambda expression so i'll let me write the lambda expression first and then i'll explain to you what this means so we'll have a comma b and we will say if a zero equal equal b zero then we are going to return a one minus b one otherwise we are going to return b zero minus a zero so what I mean by this is, see, this people is a two-dimensional array and we are using this arrays.sort on a two-dimensional array. So we have to provide some comparator or uh, some lambda expression over here. So here A comma B represents one one-dimensional array. So this two-dimensional array is made of a lot of one-dimensional array. So these are representing two of them. So what I'm saying is, so for A, A0 represents its height and A1 represents the value of K. In case the height is same, that is A0 equal equal B0, we are saying return a1 minus b1. So what is the meaning of this? We are sorting them on the basis of k values in the increasing fashion. And in case a0 is not equal to b0, we are running b0 minus a0. That is, we are sorting them on the basis of height in the decreasing order. Once this is done, we will create a list of integer. This is result equals new array list. After this, we will simply iterate over these people array and we are going to insert the particular person at the kth value so p0 represents this person's height and p1 represents this person's k value so we will insert at p1 so this will be p after this we will say int n equals people dot length and we will simply return result dot to array and here we will provide new int and two so let me submit this code once so it got accepted so i guess that's it from this video in case you have learned anything from this video you can hit that like button and in order to support my work you may consider subscribing to my channel thank you all